Hi there folks, today we're checking out the Sony WF-1000XM4. Let's do this. Hi there folks, and welcome back to Novum Verum. Today we have the Sony WF-1000XM4, which is the latest uh, earbuds from Sony. Uh, it came out uh, a month and a half, two months ago. Um, came in this plain plastic case uh, with this wrap around here. Um, so let's just go ahead and crack her open, shall we? Yeah, man. Very different uh, unboxing experience here. So that's obviously the unit itself. Here at the bottom, we have. Huh, so I guess this is just like an illustration on how to take it out. And all this literature. Wow. I don't know how many pieces of paper you need, um, but a warranty. This just looks like music service free trial. separate manual on how to clean and insert earbud tips, okay. Operating instructions. And a reference guide. That This is just a bit much, Sony. Um, <laughs> but okay. Um, and here I'm guessing it's just the accessories. USB Type-C. Charging cable. Let me just lift this whole up. Oh, no, I guess not. And on this side, large and small pairs of earbud tips. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Ooh, and they're like memory foam. Huh. I do like the way they have this all packaged, very compact and everything. This is just a bit much to me, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, let's go ahead and open this up. back there, USB Type-C charging port, model number and all that legal stuff here at the bottom. Wow, these are massive. It's nice to see that they put this little piece of paper here to avoid the contacts from charging, from touching and charging. But wow, these are big. These are just as big, if not bigger, than 
my iSport champions and they feel obviously really great um, there is a bit of heft to them obviously but they feel extremely solid and again that memory foam earbud tips which is new to me There you have it, folks. The Sony WF-1000XM4. I'm gonna get this all charged up, connect to my phone, and we'll take it for a test drive. Thanks a lot, folks. Give me a moment. All right, folks, here we are doing the audio test for the Sony WF-1000XM4s, which I have on, as you guys can see, um, it's a little chilly out, um, and there is a bit of a breeze, so I hope these will capture that and see how they perform. Um, honestly, I've had these for about two weeks now. I've been using them religiously, and uh, they've been great for the most part i'm going to talk about one little issue that i discovered uh when i step outside and do the outdoor portion of this test so let me turn around my phone and we'll get to it here we go All right. ah. So, <laughs> honestly, sound quality wise, these have been absolutely amazing. I really enjoy watching movies on these. Uh, you get that surround sound feeling from them. It's, it's crazy. Uh, listening to music is also good. Um, the bass is so strong and thumpy. It's exactly where I want it to be. Um, I really, really enjoyed listening to my music on these as well. However, I tried to take them out on a run. And unfortunately, these don't sit very securely in my ears. So they do shift around, um, even just going up and down stairs, not even running, just going up and down stairs, uh, these would loosen. And I got kind of scared. I didn't want them to fall on like, you know, the, the ground and like, crack or or scratch up or anything like that let alone like possibly losing them if i'm running through trails or something like that uh that would be disconcerting because these are rather pricey um but aside from that overall I've, I've really enjoyed using them uh you know i i can't i can't say much more about how good the sound quality is the level of clarity is better than anything I've tested out uh, earbuds wise. Um, some headphones that I tested out earlier this year were absolutely amazing, uh, but the clarity of these are still very, very good. Um, but yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna cut this short because uh, it is kind of chilly out. <laughs> so I'm gonna head home, check the audio and be back with my postmortem. Give me a moment folks, thanks. All right, folks, it's postmortem time for the Sony WF-1000 XM4. It's going to be a pass for me for a few reasons. And I'll be honest with you guys, I was having a difficult time coming to a decision until I realized I was making excuses for these uh, simply because they sounded so damn good. Um, out of all of the earbuds I've tested to date, when it comes to sound quality and sound performance, these are the best. The level of clarity is better than my Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, and the bass uh, is stronger and fuller than my Monster iSport Champions. Um, watching movies on my phone <laughs> with these on was like watching it in my home theater. Uh, 
the surround sound, three-dimensional immersiveness of these is absolutely amazing. Um, and listening to live performances and high fidelity sound files was truly enjoyable. Uh, you can literally hear a pin drop. In fact, uh, in one concert that I was listening to, I can tell that the artist was walking across the stage simply because I can hear the cord being dragged along the floor. Absolutely amazing. I have no complaints whatsoever when it comes to the sound quality and sound performance of these earbuds. But that's pretty much it. Um, call quality. Uh, so the microphones on these have beam forming technology as well as bone conduction. These are supposed to help keep your voice at the forefront as well as transmit your voice cleaner and clearer. And in a controlled environment, it works great, meaning if you're indoors with very little ambient sound. But as soon as you go, uh, let's say, to a mall or um, you know, you're outside and it's windy, all these different factors will affect your phone conversation. And unfortunately, uh, it got to the point where my voice got garbled. Uh, at some points, it got drowned out by very high winds or really loud sounds. Um, so yeah, very, very poor experience in that regard. Uh, the controls. Um, the way I see it, controls should be intuitive from one product to the next, simply because it'll allow everybody to move to a different brand. Um, so if they're trying to get people to become loyal to the Sony brand, they should have something that's familiar for those customers that are, are coming in. Um, and these are not it whatsoever. So, uh, one, they're not customizable. They're swappable, not customizable. Uh, but what I mean by that is that um, if they were customizable, you could pick and choose which controls to use and where to put them in. Um, unfortunately, the way Sony did it, they grouped the controls together, um, but they have them in such a way that is completely unorthodox. So. Uh, there are four, uh, actually three sets of controls. The fourth one is just like to not have any controls. Uh, but there's three sets of controls. One is volume control, the next is playback control, which also includes track navigation, and the next is the uh, sound mode controls. Um, so <laughs> it's silly that you would have to sacrifice, uh, you know, controls just for like going through the rotation of ambient sound, active noise canceling, and off. That should be just one uh, touch function. It shouldn't have to be one set of controls. So anyhow, because of that, I would obviously choose the other two, volume control and playback control. The way I have it set up is that uh, the volume control is on my left earbud, and on the right earbud, I have my playback. Um, I'll put a little video up of my screen uh, right here. Uh, to move to lower the volume sorry to increase the volume it's two taps on the left bud uh, and then press and hold to lower the volume uh, to move to the next track it's two taps uh, play and pause is one tap um, to move to the previous track it's three taps and press and hold would change the audio input um, so basically you're doing this <laughs> while you're you know going through your music it got so bad that I actually had to pull out my phone and just control everything on my phone whether it's you know skipping tracks and changing the volume uh, as well as activating and deactivating the ambient sound modes and all that um, so yeah poor job on that Sony um, the next is the fit now this is more personal uh, simply because not all ears are created equal. Uh, for me, unfortunately, even though they sat comfortably, they did not fit securely. Um, and even just going on a walk would have these things wobbling in my ears, uh, walking up and down steps just with that little bit of jarring motion would loosen them up. Uh, so I never took these out on a run. Um, these are rather expensive earbuds, so I didn't want them to fall out and, you know, potentially lose one or break one. Uh, yeah. 
And that brings us to the last issue, and that is the price. Now, I purchased these a couple weeks back from Amazon. Uh, at the time of purchase, they were $398 Canadian, plus tax it came out to $449.74 or 75 cents, just shy of $450. And at that price point, great sound is not gonna cut it. I need these to work the way I need them to. Um, the controls should be intuitive. Uh, I should have all the features available uh, that can be controlled instead of having to pull out my phone. Um, so yeah, $450, definitely not worth it. Um, I just checked uh, and it's currently on sale for $348, but even at that price, it is something to avoid. So unless you have you know, disposable income, and all you really care about is sound quality, then these are great. But if you lead an active lifestyle, these might not be good for you simply because they don't fit very well. Um, all the controls are not available um, and they are not intuitive. So if you were to lend these out to other friends, they will have to figure out what's going on. Not to mention there's the bloatware that goes along with it. Uh, the app is, um, the app is basically like an ad. They really want, they're pushing some other um, streaming apps. The only one that I recognize is uh, Tidal, um, but even that I find is whack. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyhow, it's, it's, it's just more junk in your phone that is unnecessary. So overall, these aren't the greatest uh, when it comes to, when you consider everything and the price tag on top of that, it's not worthwhile. Now, uh, back in February, I did another Sony product. It was uh, a, an over-ear headphone. Um, it was the WH-CH710N, I believe that's what it was. Um, and those were just as good as this when it comes to sound quality. Uh, stereo surround sound, not three-dimensional sound, but still very, very good very clear, very clean. Um, bass response is just as strong, if not better. Um, and the controls were a lot more intuitive, uh, a lot simpler. Um, and those are going right now for $98 Canadian on Amazon. If I can get <laughs> all of these just in the headphone, uh, those would be the ones that I would choose over these ones, simply because the sound quality is the same. Um, active noise cancelling and ambient sound modes are actually better uh, and the price you know you can't beat it's it's literally a, a quarter of the price of these ones so yeah there you have it folks the Sony WF 1000 XM4 near audiophile sound quality but overly overly priced uh, without all the functions available so yeah avoid anyhow there you have it folks thank you so much for watching as always I have more products on the way uh, as you can see over there <laughs> and over there and over there I have them all over the place um, and yes my giveaway is still ongoing so if you haven't subscribed do subscribe get your friends to subscribe uh, for every 100 subscribers that I get on my channel I will pick one lucky winner and send them an Amazon gift card. Thank you once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.